Hello everyone, welcome to Motoko Bootcamp. Today we are talking about Motoko. Motoko is a programming language to build on the internet computer. And today I'll be explaining why Motoko has been created, how you can learn it and how you can take advantage of it, and also how hard is learning Motoko. I'll be doing all of this in five minutes and I'll be doing all of this for beginners. The Motoko language for beginners, let's go. All right, before we talk about Motoko, we actually need to understand how applications are built on the internet computer. The main thing to understand is that all applications on the internet computer are built within canisters. OpenChat, for example, if you would like to interact and post a message to OpenChat, actually what you are doing as a user is just sending a message to the canister. And any kind of application uh, on the internet computer, when you interact with it, you are actually interacting with a canister behind, behind the scenes. So for example, hello, Motoko Bootcamp, when I'm sending a message on OpenChat, I'm also sending a message to one canister on the internet computer. And so what is a canister exactly? Well, a canister is very much related to a WebAssembly module. So you have two sides. You have the code, which is a WebAssembly module, and you have the state of the canister, which is essentially the memory, and this is a WebAssembly memory. What is WebAssembly? Well, there will be a dedicated video about WebAssembly, but you just need to know it's a virtual environment that is ultra fast, very secure, very portable, which means you can use it on the cloud, but also on IoT devices or even smartphones. And it's also multi-languages. So there are multiple languages. Motoko is one, but there are other languages that compile to WebAssembly. It's essentially the perfect virtual machine. So the Motoko language has actually been created for WebAssembly. The Motoko language has been created by someone called Andreas Rosberg, which has also been involved in the creation of WebAssembly. So as a developer, you will write your code in Motoko, and then this code will be compiled to a source code, which will be WebAssembly, and this is what will be running on the internet computer and what will be installed. So Motoko is just an intermediary between you and WebAssembly, because WebAssembly is very low level and no one would really write code in WebAssembly. So what are the advantages of using Motoko? Having a dedicated language for the internet computer gives you several advantages. I won't list all of them, but the main ones are it gives you the best performances for the platform and also it makes it easier to learn the language because you are learning the platform and the language at the same time. The third advantage that I've listed here is that Motoko is future-proof because Motoko actually evolves with the internet computer. So whenever new features are released, the language evolves and it makes it as easy as possible for developers to use those features. How hard is learning Motoko? I can talk from personal experience because two years ago I went on a personal challenge and I started learning Motoko almost from zero. If it's your first language, it's going to take several months. You will be able to build applications before that, but if you want to be pre-efficient, you need a few months and several projects. On the other side, if you are already an existing developer and you know other languages, I've seen people in the Motoko Bootcamp in one week going from zero to absolutely pre-efficient in Motoko. Of course, not experts, they still have things to learn, but they are able to take care of everything and learn the rest by themselves on the forum or by looking at the documentation. So the answer to the question depends on your background, but generally, Motoko is an easy language to learn. It's a high-level language, like JavaScript or Python, and so it is relatively easy to learn. A question I always get asked is, what about Solidity? Is it better to learn Motoko? Is it better to learn Solidity? And it depends on where you are in your career and what you want to achieve. Motoko is for WebAssembly environments. Solidity is for EVM environments. I believe WebAssembly is a much better standard than EVM. Many people are frustrated with EVM, how it works, and uh, the performances that it has, even Ethereum developers themselves. On the other side, WebAssembly is adopted by major industry and major players. It's a standard beyond Web3 and crypto. It's a standard of the whole computing industry. So I'm very bullish and excited on the future of WebAssembly. That's why Motoko is super interesting. I believe this is now a good time to learn it. You have less competition because it's a less established eco ecosystem. And if you learn it now, there will be opportunities for you in the years to come. On the other side, Solidity is a much more established ecosystem. So if you look at things right now, probably you have more resource and you have a more established community. If you can learn both, it's going to be a huge advantage for you because actually on the internet computer, we can integrate with Ethereum and we can do um, interoperability. So I know for sure that if you know both languages, it gives you a major advantage. So it depends on what you want to achieve, but if you're looking to build on the internet computer, of course, the answer is to learn Motoko. If you want to learn more about Motoko, the best place to learn Motoko is Motoko Bootcamp. Motoko Bootcamp is a seven-day program where you will learn how to build a DAO. 
it's online, we do it every month and it's completely free. It's an amazing opportunity to learn about this language. I'm giving a lot of energy you will learn from me, so from my experience and also from the community. I hope to see you in the next bootcamp and in the meantime, keep building.